everyone welcome back to my channel so today is going to be another homemaking vlog so i'm going to do day in the life of a homemaker i've got loads to do today um it's the week before christmas um and i have booked this whole entire week off work and i'm also off work until the 4th of january so that is amazing i'm so excited i've not got much long left of work in general really because um I've taken annual leave from the middle of April um the baby's due sort of the start of June so then I'll be on maternity leave um from then so it's sort of countdown central I'm just pushing this chair back because I was just doing my makeup and I had this pile of clothes to sort out and Murphy just thought oh comfy and jumped on it if anyone else has got a Yorkie, you'll know the struggles. Oh, you look all dishevelled and tired, little boy. Bless him. Oh, God, he needs a brush. Poor the little thing. Yeah, so I've got loads to do today. So um, I'm going to write a little list, actually, just to keep me on track. Um, I've got an Asda delivery coming, so I need to sort out the fridge, give it a good clean out. Sorry if I'm talking quite quiet, I feel like... I woke up about an hour and a half ago and it's just been like a slow morning to wake up so I still feel half asleep to be honest. I think um, now I can't sleep on my back or my front um, and they say to sleep on your left side. I'm very very conscious of it so I feel like I'm just not getting into a deep sleep because if I wake up on my back I really freak out and for me to get to sleep normally I'm a proper like toss and turner. So recently not being able to toss and turn and find different positions has been difficult. <laughs> so yeah, I've not been sleeping as well. I did get that pregnancy pillow behind, but it's not the best. I'm gonna have to order another one because it's only one side and I really need one that goes around both sides um, to prevent me rolling onto my back. So I'm gonna order that, I think. I'm probably gonna wait till January, um, see if they've got any good sales on. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna have to wait till then. So yes, I'm gonna write a list um, of things I need to do. I'm gonna wrap um, Christmas presents today. Um, Paul's at work today and he has Secret Santa going on his work. So I'm gonna wrap his present that he's got for his friend. Um, oh, what else? So I've got the Asda delivery. I need to go to the doctors and put in my repeat prescription. So uh, the doctor has, well, my midwife has prescribed me um, a low dose of aspirin to prevent preeclampsia because I tick two boxes. So because my mum had preeclampsia in pregnancy and because this is first pregnancy, they um, want me to take aspirin because apparently it helps and just as like a preventative me measure. So I need to go and do that. Oh, also my Christmas cake. So um, I always ice it with my mother-in-law just before Christmas it's like it's become our little tradition I absolutely love it so I'm gonna drop it around her house so that she can do the marzipan for me because she's just much better at doing the marzipan so she's gonna do that and then one day I go around there and we ice it together and it's just a really fun time and I love that tradition so I need to pop around there and do that and yeah I just need to have good clean good sort out I feel like I've been really burnt out recently, really tired with work and pregnancy and the housework has just been, I've been getting by by doing the bare minimum basically. So yes, also 
I just wanted to say I hope there is no clicks or strange sounds during this um, vlog. I noticed um, in my announcing my pregnancy video, I used a microphone, but then in the raw clip, it was like really strange clicking sounds. It sounds. So I'm hoping the camera is not broken. If I'm going to watch this back, and if it is, I'm going to then film any talking clips on my phone so yes that is a plan for today's vlog i hope you enjoy it and yes another quick thing thank you so much for all the comments and the well wishes on my pregnancy announcement um, many of them made me cry anyone that said they can imagine me being a really good mum made me cry because <laughs> that's all i've ever wanted to be so yes thank you very much <laughs> I just thought I'd quickly show you my outfit as well. So I have been wearing this a lot, this black skirt. I just, I can't find any maternity jeans that I like. They are all hideous, if I'm honest. <laughs> so um, I'm just having to wear dresses and skirts. So I've got this skirt that goes with all my jumpers, all my tops. Um, if you're interested, I have a tiny little bump. Actually, do you know what? You can't really see it in this angle. It's the morning as well. It gets bigger throughout the day. <laughs> it's barely there to be honest I really thought I'm nearly 17 weeks now I really thought by 17 weeks that I'd have a big bump but clearly not I've got something yeah there we go you can see it a bit more there if I lift that up <laughs> someone asked if I'm going to be doing regular bump updates and I don't think so because I do a lot of like cleaning -y bits where you'll see it anyway and I don't know I find it a little bit not awkward but I'm just not someone who like shows my body off a lot anyway so I don't see why that's any different in pregnancy so yes I'm wearing this skirt with um maternity tights that come right up to here so they are much more comfortable and then this jumper I got from Primark a couple of years ago and I absolutely love it it's so warm um and then I've just braided my hair at the front because I know I've got a busy day today where I'm going to be bending down cleaning a lot and I don't want my hair getting in the face so my room looks very messy um oh yes little changes to the house I'll show you um so we have a pup sleeping there <laughs> but in this corner we have changed it to a little office so we've got rid of the wardrobe um the reason being is because all of this was in the living room and I want the living room very clear so when the baby is starting to crawl and things that they um just have more space to move and grow and then I've got some Christmas lights up there they look hideous in the day because they're black but at night time it's so cozy so yes give my little pup another stroke and then I'm going to write my list of things to do today. Was it all just a dream, just all in my anyone else get this thing where they get really excited to finish one cleaning product so they can start another <laughs> this is nearly finished now and it's like a really summery scent it's lovely but I got this a couple of weeks ago and I've been dying to use it but I just can't bring myself to until this is all used up and Murphy wants to be picked up don't you he's like a baby honestly he is like a baby like a little toddler that jumps up at you asking to be picked up <laughs> So I just thought I'd do a little cleaning haul as well. I got some new bits um, from Cherries, which is like an online app thing. Um, and you can get all sorts of, well, they do everything, food, cleaning, um, homey bits, um, baby bits, which I'll need soon. Ah, psyched in. <laughs> Sometimes I do that. It just like it occurs to me that suddenly I'm going to be a mom and it's really exciting. Anyway, um, so I thought I'd just do a little haul of what I got. They did kindly send me this stuff and they have given a 25% 
discount code for my followers but it has to be your first order so I will leave the details in the description if you're interested so let me get started on what I got first and foremost which I've already opened and used <laughs> is white vinegar spray this is a really good cleaner for glass um, I also sometimes use it to clean my sink holes and it is a non-toxic natural cleaner which is really good um, along the same lines baking soda which can be used for all sorts um, the best combination is a little bit of this down your plug and then a little bit of this and it all fizzes up gets rid of any smells and it's just really satisfying as well um next i got some more fairy liquid this is in the scent pink jasmine um so a big thing of fairy liquid that will last ages now i also got some more fairy non-bio gel this is what i use for my clothes washing and you can also use it for babies as well which is good i'm not sure what um fabric softener i'm going to use yet for the baby um any mums out there so question about clothes washing for baby stuff do you have to wash it all separately from your stuff and use a separate softener that's just for babies or is the one that you can get that will do yours and theirs together and that's still okay please answer me in the comments if you know because this is all the little things as a first time mum that you're just like I have no idea <laughs> so along the same lines i got some lenore outdoorable this is amazing fabric softener it just keeps it smelling really nice even if it takes a little bit longer to dry especially during these times where we're not putting our heating on as much and we can't hang it outside we need a very good softener to keep that nice smell next i got this mold and mildew blaster this is an absolute lifesaver if you've got any mold or mildew in your homes a lot of us brits have it this time of year when it's very cold um so yes this is amazing you literally just spray it leave it leave it on and then the mold will be gone um straight away this is in an apple burst scent as well i used to just get the plain one and it smells very very chemically so um me and paul what we do with that because it's so chemically and because i'm pregnant at the moment i don't really want to be around loads of chemicals um, we spray it on a Sunday right before we go out for a Sunday meal so usually I go sit in the car Paul does a good spray around and then by the time we're back the chemical smell is gone um, I also got some bleach I just use this in the bathroom toilet things like that so I got two bottles of bleach you can clean most things in your house with very liquid bleach and white vinegar it doesn't need to be any more complicated than that but of course if you like scented things treat yourself um oh another mold and mildew blaster that's how much we get through it and need it um next um a washing machine cleaner i need to um give my washing machine a good clean soon it's not been done for a couple of months now so that needs doing I also got this food grater <laughs> that has a tubware underneath it to catch the cheese. It's just little things like that that make your life easier, isn't it? Um, also got some beans. This is not cleaning related now, but I just got some beans. Heinz beans are so expensive these days, guys. I really need to try and find an alternative, but Paul is very, very fussy about his Heinz beans. He's a little bean snob. <laughs> and then finally just got some more toothpaste so that is everything i got i will leave the um discount code in the description in case you also want to do a little order and yes i'm now going to get on with doing more actual cleaning in fact no i'm not i need to contact british gas because our water in our bathroom is coming out lukewarm which is not good this time of year um we can get by for now by doing a bath and then we put a kettle of hot water in and then it does make it warm but yeah it's not good for much longer so i need to contact them do you want to do that with me should we sit on the bed oh no he wants cuddles oh darling so yeah i'm gonna go sit on the bed um get british gas um contact up luckily they have a chat online so i might stick a christmas film on in the background that'd be nice not fun <laughs> so it's two hours later and i've only just got sorted so we are booked in for tomorrow luckily they're coming out to fix it but 
that chat just took ages to go through as he's booking me in an appointment for tomorrow it disconnects i was like are you serious and then i go back to the start of the queue again and then the new advisor that comes on couldn't even have access to the old chat so i had to do it all again explain myself again that was a bit frustrating um but while i was waiting for them to come through i decided to well first of all i've got all the christmas presents out so all of this i'm gonna wrap um in a little bit and then i also put up um these cards so i just put the string up there and then put up our christmas cards that we've got so far it's a really good way if you've got a small house of um putting cards up that doesn't take up any room which is great i think before i wrap the presents i'm actually going to go and do my errands outside of the house so i'm going to go to my mother-in-law to drop off the cake then get my prescription request what else do i need to do outside the house i think that's it um but i'm going to nip to the shop and get something nice for lunch i have been craving hoisin duck wraps a lot so i'm going to see if they have one of them in treat myself to a nice lunch because that was not a fun start to my break from work two hours speaking to british guests it's funny how much better you can feel after you've eaten some food i was getting really stressed <laughs> just because that british guest was stressing me out and then it took two hours and then Paul did not get a confirmation email until just now. So we know it's gone through, but I was thinking I was going to have to speak to them again. I was like, oh, and then um, what else happened? I went to Sainsbury's to get um, my lunch and there was none of my hoisin duck wraps left, but I got a southern fried chicken one and that was really nice. And then the car park was really stressful. What else happened? You know, just like little things I like I got stuck in the car park for ages and no one was letting me out and I was like why is everyone so mean <laughs> but I got home ate my lunch and now I'm feeling loads better so now I'm going to turn my day around I'm going to actually stick on a Christmas film because I was going to before and then never did so I'm going to put on a Christmas film and then wrap some presents while watching a Christmas film and that's going to make me feel much more festive and happy again <laughs>
that is all the presents wrapped now and under the tree. I'm in a much better mood. I'm so happy I did that. So everything is now sorted. I thought I'd just give you a little um, look at what I've done for decorations this year. Pretty much the same as every year. We'll start over here. We've got our little stockings. We have a new one for the baby as well that my mother-in-law bought, so that will go up next year, which is very exciting. Um, these two new little um, snowman and this little teddy with a Santa hat, they're new. Um, my candle thingy, um, these you can put little tea lights in, they look really nice. Uh, what else have we got? Down here we have a little reindeer, that's new, and then this little house Santa having a little party and then of course the tree so we haven't um we go for the same every single year you can see me talking with my hand in the mirror <laughs> we go for the same every single year um all that's new this year is we've got this one again from my mother-in-law um which is really cute it's just like a little candy cane gingerbread house Thing. This has been turned around because it's got our second name on, which I prefer to keep private. Um, but that's a special one about our wedding. Um, and then this is a new little one. It's so cute. I bought this for um, Paul from the baby. So it says 2022. I'm going to have to try and not cry when I read this out, actually, because I cry most times when I read it. Um, let me just make sure it's in focus. I don't think it lights these lights. Let me turn this way. No, still not in focus. Tell you what, let me take it off and then I'll read it and then put it back on. There we go. So it says, Daddy, I can hear you say you love me as I wriggle in Mummy's tum. I want you to know I love you and I can't wait for all the Christmas fun. Daddy, are you ready? Oh, come on. Our adventure is about to start. I will hold your little finger, but you will hold my heart. Love your little bump. Oh, isn't that so cute? Mummy's like, not as cute as me. I'm the top baby. I'm the best baby. <laughs> I'll put that back on the tree now. So that's what we like to do every year. Just keep things the same and add new little special ones so that eventually every bauble will have a meaning or someone we got it from and I think that's the nicest way to do Christmas and it's the most sustainable as well. I don't know where she came from Kind of turned me upside down I just don't know what to do I want to spend the night at hers And bring her one of my t-shirts So it smells like her perfume now I really get what the love songs are talking about And I just want to tell her how I feel, scream it out loud Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating And you can't stop looking at her smile Then you've been in love that's how you know you've been in love There's something about the way she laughs And the way she always dances When she thinks nobody sees And when she's gonna miss her soul I tell her, baby, please don't go I think you should stay with me And I, I really get what the love songs are talking about Oh, and I just want to tell her how I feel, scream it out loud. Have you ever been in love? You... So that Asda order has just arrived. So I just thought I'd do a quick food haul. I don't think I've actually ever done a food haul on this channel. Isn't that crazy considering it's a homemaking channel? But I'm just going to go through everything. It's just a um, light shop this week. Obviously it's Christmas at the weekend and we've got loads of things with family. So we've only planned a couple of meals. Um, so we've got a big thing of frozen chips, we've got some carrots, onions, mushrooms and potatoes, um, just some more bin bags and foil. Then we've got some spaghetti and rice. I'm going to be making like a creamy spaghetti tonight, that's what this Philadelphia is for. Um, and then mushrooms, onions, um, peas I'm going to put in, I'll also put some bacon in as well. I love bacon at the moment. <laughs> 
Then also got some chicken. I'm gonna make a chicken curry as well. Um, I got these two um, smoothies. I'm obsessed with smoothie at the moment. So I just thought these ones sounded nice. This is pineapple, coconut and banana. And that one is mango and passion fruit. I got another milk, some beans, um, Havis bread, and then just a couple of um, essentials. So I had to get some more curry powder for my curry and also some mango chutney as well I like to put in the recipe. Um, some Bisto, I'm going to be making a sausage casserole. I've already got the sausages frozen, so um, that should be easy to make. Some chopped tomatoes. This is garlic paste i am funny about chopping garlic at the moment i don't like the smell of it at all so i just got that just to be a little bit easier another tin of chopped tomatoes that's coconut milk and that is everything apart from a big thing of murphy's food this is 22 pound for 24 cans so he's a very lucky pup <laughs> so yes i'm going to put all of this away now and then i'm just going to relax for a little bit i did want to clean my bathroom in this vlog but I am slowly running out of energy. Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating, you can't stop looking at her smile. Then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love. having a little break a little bit of a sugar hit i'm having some birthday cake and watching love island australia <laughs> not very christmasy but yeah i just love reality tv i'm a sucker for it aren't i murph you get away from that cake no you'd be licking those lips because it's not for you <laughs> <laughs> look at me <laughs> oh, like a purple snowman or something Oh, I'm so comfy. I just want to have a nap, but I'm going to get up now. I look yellow as well because this room is very yellow. I'm going to get up and have a quick clean of the bathroom and cook dinner. We're going to do it. We're going to do it after I finish being a purple snowman. I like blend into the sofa. <laughs> oh, just can't wait for bed tonight. <laughs> I've got something on my mind I bet you know what I'm thinking about You know I can't stop loving you Every time when you're looking at me It feels like my heart is keeping on beat, yeah You know I can't live without you You make me crazy In a good way So come on, baby Let's talk Let's talk about love I'd rather be Come on girl We can take my car Drinking some beers In your favorite bar Yeah You know I can't live Without you You make me crazy In that good way So come on baby Let's talk Let's talk about love
on my mind I bet you know what I'm thinking about I've got something on my mind Let's talk about love so nice it turned out absolutely perfect and it's so easy to make as well so definitely give that recipe a try if you're looking for something easy to cook midweek that is really delicious as well so i'm going to end this vlog here it's been a busy day i'm exhausted um i definitely get tired in pregnancy so i'm just going to watch some tv now and get an early night so i hope you have enjoyed this vlog if you haven't please give it a thumbs up make sure you're subscribed and i will see you in the next one